All right, um, so we're going to focus on some rhythm today, and I'm going to bring back an old song that we've known for a while and we've usually done some movement to, but I want us to really focus in on the rhythm today. So it's Old Brass Wagon. So if we can all uh, clap a steady beat with me. So about here, we can start clapping with me, and we're going to set up this tempo. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. You're the one, my darling. All right, keep clapping. Here we go, all together. Ready? Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. 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 You're the one, my darling. Great. So now I want us to turn our attention to the board. And each of these lines, these dashes, are corresponding with how we're clapping. So we're going to do this just a little bit slower. And I want you to think about which words occur um, just in this first phrase over each clap. So we have circle to the left, the old brass wagon. Circle to the left, the old brass wagon. All right? Can someone tell me what we might have on this first, just over this first clap? Yes. Circle to the. Right. So we have how many sounds? Four. Four. Yeah. So we have. Sir, I'm going to get the division syllables wrong. Circle. Circle to the. So circle to the left. The old brass left. So what's the next one? Circle to the. Left. Left. Do we have another sound on there? Yeah. Circle to the left. D. And then what do we have on, on the third clap? Circle to the left. The old, old brass, brass flag. Old yeah. brass. And brass, that's right. <laughs> Circle to the left. The old brass wagon. wagon. Awesome. So now we're going to fast forward because we repeat the same thing um, like we mentioned. Last time we did this song before. Uh, circle like the old brass wagon. So the last line is, You're the one, my darling. So let's think of that. Can we all clap together? Sing it together. Ready? You're the one, my darling. So we start with what? You're. You're. The. Yeah. You're. You're the one, my darling. So we're going to put this one. One, my. Yep. Dar, dar, Lynn. This one's a little longer. All right. Uh, so that would be, I think, a bit there. Okay, so I want us to focus on this line. And so, you're the one, my darling. We have two sounds over both of these. But there's something maybe a little different. So let's, let's think of this. You're the one, my darling. You're the one, my darling. So for here, we have da, 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 da. What's something maybe a little bit different between how we do you're the and one, my? Yes. The is really short. Yeah, so the is shorter um, than your. So we have kind of a long and a short. And then one my. It's like even. It's even, exactly. So one my, if we have two of these in one beat, we know how many, how many, what, in one beat, what can we have two of? What type of note? Eighth note, TT. Eighth note. Yes, TT. So here, what we have two of. This is a little bit shorter. So in, when we're notating this, we have an eighth, but we add a dot. That makes it just a little bit longer to where we have a, a shorter note on the other end. Um, so underneath, if we have two eighths, then what do we have? What's shorter than an eighth? A sixteenth, ticka ticka. And so, how many of those do we have in one beat? Four. 
four. Four. four. So we have four. So underlying, we have four sixteenths. And if we have four sixteenths, we only have one left here. So that means that these three are actually all together. So the dotted eighth is as if we had three of these tied together. So if we have one e and a two e and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one e, a one e and a. So you're the one, my darling. Come on, clap. Just keep the sixteen. Let's do this together. Ready? And you're the one, my darling. Again. You're the one, my darling.